meeting a stranger. When I meet you, it's not just the two of us meeting. Your mother is there and your father is there and my mother and father. And our people back from our folks back are there and what they might have had to do with each other. If one of yours and one of mine had met, what might have happened is there in the room with us. They are shadowy compared to us. They are quivers of a reflected light on a wall. And if I were a German and you a Jew, or I a Jew and you a Palestinian, or as this morning, when you are an African-American woman and I am a wasp, one of your family might have been taken from their home and brought through murder to murder by one of my family. It is there in the air with us. And if you're a woman in the city where you live, and I am staying at the hotel where you work, and if you have brought me my breakfast on a tray, though you and I have not met before, we are breathing in our lineages together. And whether there is guilt in the room or not, or blame, there is the history of human evil and the shame in me that someone I could be related to could have committed against someone you are related to some horror. And in the room, there is a question, alive, would I have risked harm to try to protect you? As I hope I would risk it for a cousin, a niece, or would I have stood aside in the ordinary cowardice and self-interest of my flesh now sharing your breath, your flesh, my breath.